Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my current hair care routine. Ever since I went vegan, I was looking for a great blonde hair dye that would be cruelty free, but also ashy and that would lift my hair strong enough that it would be that light, the way that I like wearing it. And I finally found one, so I thought I might share my experience with you. And then I thought, you know, while I'm at it, I might as well show you all the shampoos and conditioners and all the other styling products that I'm using. So if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. I think it goes without saying that all of the products that I'm using are cruelty free and vegan according to my current information and this video is not sponsored, I bought all of those products that I'm gonna show you today myself. So now let's start with the hair dye. The hair dye is by the brand Naturique, which is a professional hair dye where you can mix all the different shades in order to create your personal shade. They have also different developers for whatever purpose you want to use your hair dye. And I discovered the brand absolutely accidentally. The thing is, I sometimes order my hair products online if I can get them in the local stores in my area. And I just ordered the silver shampoo and silver conditioner by the brand Maria Nila, which are of course also vegan. This is a Swedish brand and I never had their products, so I figured I'm gonna order just the small bottles in order to try them out and see if I like them at all. And when they sent me the products from the online shop where I ordered them, which is by the way also linked down below just in case you're interested, then they sent me also a catalog. So I went through a few pages, I didn't see anything interesting, so I put the catalog aside for the time being. And after a while I have decided to throw it away since I can get all the information I need online anyway. But something told me to open it. And then I opened it exactly at the page where they had the Natalique brand, which also said that it's cruelty free and I have seen that it's a professional hair dye, so I was super happy and I figured out I could try it out. So what I have here is the main blonde shade that I use right now for my roots, which is called 10.8 Violet Extra Light Blonde. So this is how it looks at the back. So I always use half of the hair dye together with 30%, not 30%, 9%, 30 volume <laughs> developer. And I let it sit on my head for about 50 minutes, even though they say 40 minutes should suffice. But I know my hair, my hair is really thick and with any hair dye so far, it always needed a little bit extra time. So that's why I'm doing that. But um, if you're not sure, rather just let it sit for the time they say in the directions. But that's not all. I mix also two other shades in it. I mix also Intense Natural Ash Mix in it, which is 0.22. So when I squeeze the hair dye out, it's about that much, like that long piece that I put in. And then I put in also twice as much from the Intense Ice Mix, which is the number 0.11. And this is how I get this shade. So I really like it. I'm really happy with the result. It's ashy enough for what I want and it really lifts my hair perfectly so i'm really super happy with the result i'm really happy i found this hair dye before we go on let me quickly show you how i dye my hair so first i put half of the 10.8 into a bowl i mix it in ratio one to one with the 30 volume developer and then i add a few inches of both of the mixed shades and I stir all properly so that all mixes well. Here you can see how creamy the hair dye is. It doesn't drip at all, which I find great. And then I work my way through my hair section by section and apply the hair dye on my roots only. This is how the hair dye looks like when it's been applied, so my personal mixture turns light grey. As I already mentioned, I let it sit for about 50 minutes and this is how my hair looks like after I washed it with just a regular shampoo. And here is what it looks like after I used my silver shampoo. Now this is how my hair looks like when it has been air dried and this is on daylight. And now this is how my hair looks like when my ring light is on. 
Before I discovered Natulique, I used another hair dye that is also cruelty free and vegan but it wasn't really great for me because my roots always turned too yellow for my taste. It is still a great hair dye so I'm gonna show you that hair dye anyway. It's by the brand Naturigin. I think this is too bright. I'm gonna turn the light a little bit back so that you can actually see something. Um, now that's 10.2 which is called uh, Lightest Ash Blonde that didn't work for me at all. I tried 11.2 which was Extreme Ash Blonde. It was a bit better but I had to leave it on my head much longer than what it says in the direction so that it would lift my hair enough and it was still too yellow. However, I think it's still a good brand. It just didn't turn my hair ashy enough, um, ashy enough. And this is just a box hair dye, which comes with a lot of plastic. So yeah, and they don't have enough mixed shades. So I decided to go with something else. And that's why I was looking for another vegan brand. Although from what I have seen, not all of the Natalik products might be vegan. I think in some of their Conditioners and shampoos might be silk, which wouldn't be vegan, so better check the ingredients before you buy something. But the hair dye is 100% vegan, as far as I know. So, now let's move to my shampoo and conditioner. I actually use two shampoos, to be exact. So the first round is always with this shampoo, which is called Scenic. It's from the brand Lush. A wonderful shampoo smells so fresh and whenever I smell it I imagine myself being somewhere at the seaside it's just so lovely there is a little bit of sea salt in it so it gives my hair also a little bit more body but it doesn't dry it out even though my hair is bleached so really great product I can highly recommend this one and then the second round is always with my favorite silver shampoo so this is absolutely my favorite silver shampoo it's by the brand Lee Stafford However, you have to be a little bit careful with that one because if you use it every single time you wash your hair, it might build up a little bit and you might get a little bit too much of the pigment in your hair and it might look a little bit purple in some light, but I like it and I don't really care about that. But if you don't want that, if you just want to neutralize some shades, then I would definitely recommend to use it only every other time when you wash your hair. But it's wonderful and the thing lasts really long you don't need too much of it and it's really highly pigmented a great great product and then i use either the conditioner that goes with the shampoo which is a silver conditioner although i don't find it super pigmented but it's a really lovely conditioner and i like it or i use this brand super inexpensive brand it's a european brand um, from the drugstore called drogerie mark it's with van vanilla and almond oil and it's actually a hair mask but I use it instead of conditioner sometimes when I feel like my hair needs some extra care and it smells almost like Christmas cookies it's really lovely and it's so inexpensive I don't think it costs even two euros and if then it's definitely less than three euros it's super super great thing I have here another silver shampoo that I tried, which is Touch of Silver from Provoke. Now, many of the Provoke products are vegan, not all of them. And uh, one of my friends, my YouTube colleagues, Katie Bradley, loves this shampoo. I will link her channel down below. She's awesome. She's also a vegan. She has great videos. Definitely visit her channel. You can also say hi from me. Um, but this shampoo doesn't work for me that well. It needed a while until I could see um, that it would neutralize the shades. After a while it was better, but my scalp itches like hell every single time I use this one. I get dandruff and my hair feels super dry, so I stopped using that, which is a pity because I like the color that it has. It has a little bit more blue than the um, purple shampoo, the bleach blonde from Lee Stafford, so I thought it might be maybe different, but it just doesn't work for me, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad product because one product that doesn't work for me might be the best product for you. So it's also vegan. I just wanted to show you that one, but I'm not using that anymore. Just the least effort. And that's pretty much it with the hair wash. Now, when it comes to the hairstyling, I don't really do anything spectacular. I always let my hair only air dry because it's less damaging to your hair. Especially since I'm dyeing my hair blonde, that I'm always very careful and I try to avoid heat at any cost. 
and once my hair dries I always only fluff it up a little bit in the back and mostly put the sides behind my ears because I'm growing out my pixie so my hair is in a weird place anyway and I only have it regularly trimmed above my neck so that I won't get mullet and then I use a little bit of a hairspray so this is also nothing spectacular this is a very inexpensive hairspray from a local drugstore by the brand Balea I have used those hairsprays even before I went vegan then I found out that they were vegan so I was super happy I think this one cost like 80 or 90 cents and it's great for my hair for the things that I want to do with my hair so I mostly fluff the hair up spray a bit of the hairspray on the back if I need more, I spray more and also here before I put the hair behind my ears and here in the front and that's pretty much it. However, if I want a little bit more structure, then I use the sea salt spray by Lee Stafford. Although I have to be really careful because if I would use that one every day, my hair would feel super dry and I would have to wash it like every other day, which I don't want to do. I'm trying to wash my hair only every four or five days. However, with all of the hair products that I have to use right now, because my hair is still short, I get sometimes a rush on my neck. So I have to wash my hair like every four or three days maximum. Otherwise, um, when I sweat, a little bit of the product would come on my neck and it would just give me a bad breakout on the back of my neck because my skin is super sensitive. So that's one product and then I have here a product where I actually honestly don't know 100% if it's vegan. I bought it in the States in the spring when I was in Texas because my hairspray uh, was empty. But I know that Paul Mitchell is cruelty free and from what I read I didn't find anything animal based um, in the ingredients list so I think it's vegan but rather double check it. So it's the fast drying sculpting spray from Paul Mitchell and this is a really great product because um, it helps uh, to bring a little bit more structure in my hair, the hair stays in place and I can brush it out also easily so this is my hairstyling routine. As I have already mentioned, I'm growing out my pixies, so sometimes my hair is really weird. So on those days I would wear headbands because I find them really cute and sometimes I just fluff the hair here up like this. It just takes time and it's not always perfect, but hey, you know, I wanted to have short hair and now I have to live with that. So I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to show you. If you have any questions about my hair care routine, uh, about the products, feel free to write them in the comments. And you can also let me know what cruelty free products are you using. If you have any recommendations for a vegan hair dye, especially for blondes, that would be awesome if you would share it with us. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumb up. You can also share it with your friends. You can also follow me on Instagram. All of my Instagram accounts are linked down below. I also listed several other videos that I think might be interesting for you down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye!